I'm looking at my options for Eberrackum because I've got some industry, but like my squalor, it's adding to squalor. My public order is going down. It does get me some money, so I don't know if I should keep this stuff, but the city is not likely to become happy anytime soon. Or should yeah. I just keep the food and, dis and dismantle everything else, returning me to a two-stack city? I might just do that for now. I'm going to do that for now. I don't know if that's a good decision or not, but... It might be a good short-term plan, yeah. I need to get the city happy. As we've established, once you get, like, Hafen, Hafen has just been on cruise control for a while now. Like, they're just fine. I don't have to worry about them. I'd like to get there with Eberrackham, too. Do not, right. you know, we're not going to put a lot of eggs in the dune basket. Um, <laughs> oh, you mean the one that's on fire and completely on the wrong continent? <laughs> exactly, and I'm probably going to run my guys back to Eberrackham unless... Well, I mean, do you want to just hunt down that army, wipe them, and go for Tuesis? Or do you want to settle back in our, our cities and wait and see what they want to do? Especially if we fight again, I'm going to have to replenish for like three turns at least. So we can just try to wait for now. I'm within reinforcement range. If you can hunt them down again, they won't be able to run. I, I won't be able to until my next turn. Ooh, okay. the uh, Romans like me again. Trade agreement. Moderate chance of success. They're offering a non-aggression pack and a thousand bucks. No trade agreement. Add the trade agreement and make it 500 bucks that you demand. I'm going to only they demand three. Negotiation. They rejected oh, so, it. So kind. Oh, all right. All well, right. All right. Well. I'm going to add trade agreement. <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. I'll add some non-aggression pact. And I'm going to give them some money. They rejected it. All right. Hmm. How much money should I offer them? You think? If they want the non-aggression pact wait until they come back with it go ahead and accept it and let that build your relationship for a few turns and then go for the trade sounds good so we'll just do yeah if they won't if they won't take your offer just they've don't accepted non-aggression they've accepted non-aggression okay wait but for money though did you get money out of no it? money no money oh, because you, i already if you waited i had it's all right though be greedy i didn't need the money as much as i would like one ally because currently you're my only ally so <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, that's about all I can do. I've got a money surplus. So I'm not going to spend any of it right now. Do you want, I'm not going to send my troops from Hefen up to Angulus just because we all know how that went last time, and you can easily fall back and we can reinforce. Could you? I mean, do you really want me to? Because that could wipe got... out both our armies, dude. They've got 40 stacks. You can always fall back, protect the two towns you already have, and protect Hefen. I, just I feel spend, like I, I have nine thousand no twelve thousand gold invested in Angulus now. But we we lost so much trying to keep Angulus last time. My navy can protect your homeland for one turn. <sighs> but Come that's on, the dude. thing. That's the thing. It, we're not gonna. This isn't like we're gonna fight them and they're gonna be dead. They've got more stacks waiting than the wings. I'm just worried. May, may I'm just I worried. Remind you, my good ally, that I was not at war with the Burgundians until I. I declared war. To I understand. Look, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm just trying to think of the smartest way to handle this is because we don't know their full strength. They're in the shadows right now. And last that's time true. we, we really Angulus killed us last time because that's where we got surrounded and cut off and beaten to well, death. No, I, actually I'd argue that Angulus, Angulus was like our great wall of China. Like Angulus, I mean, Angulus, the town killed some fools like angulus is hard to take right, right that area of the map is where we got crushed to death and i'm just nervous about moving an army i'll only have one turn max to get an army back to but my, my navy plus your garrison will be a 20 stack okay now i can't get all the way to angulus this turn i can get to right Almost below angulus. angulus i won't be in reinforcement range though if they attack you that's that's fine i think i'll take what i can get okay all right. If you wait one more turn, I will be more replenished. Or you should continue to replenish slightly in my terrain too, because okay. we're allies. There it goes. That's as close as I can get. Is there nothing else? Okay. Um. I don't think I have any other moves. Ready for I'm still out there. I'm hoping you fight on two fronts right now. Just saying. 
I helped you fight on two continents. Mmm. Mmm. We're allies, that's what's important. <laughs> Enemy military investment. What does that mean? That means they're attacking you. Oh, they've they're besieging Why are they besieging a piece of smoking dirt? Let them, I'll attack them. I am stationing my powerful navy just off your coast. Thank you. I just I'm seeing this as like a chess game now. I just don't want to extend, you know. Right now they're coming at us and I feel safer if we just let them come at us and we hit them. I'm going to go for a level 3 tier military upgrade. It'll take 12 turns, but it will add two bars of recruited experience for missile and spear infantry and I also get Nordic warriors that automatically replace the Nordic brigade so that's more of like an organized Ready force for even for Vikings I have a rebel army force. near Eberakum. Oh, um, there are only four but that's going to be something to watch out for I don't think they're my rebels I think they're Roman rebels or something but I'm going to want to help you take out that one army, and I'm probably going to swing back to Eberakum for a few turns. Uh, they're your rebels, I'm pretty sure. I think really? they're just Western Roman because this territory is Western Roman. All right. No, it says they're Western. Eh, who knows? All right. Yeah, yeah. I, well, the guys up here were like uh, Britannic rebels. So I think it's like regional rebels. That works. Now, I'm going to just hide here in Eldon. Feel free to retreat next turn. Okay. Because you can come back up and chase them away again. Like, that... Oh, look, Eberakim is actually getting quite happy. Your strategy's working. They are, yeah. Um, it's going to take a couple turns before I start getting the real benefits, but that's why I'm thinking if we just fall back and sit and let them make the next move, we'll just get stronger and save more money, and we can start thinking about extra stacked armies. Play it safe. I don't have any money where I can raise forces to send south from Alibu. I'm not making enough per turn. I raise taxes again. That takes me to what? You, you're you just slightly positive in Alibu. I don't know if you want to give that up. Nope, you're yeah. negative again. Yeah, that's not worth it. It gets me to 600 gold, but it's like negative six for every territory. For I say we defend Alibu, but if they come at it heavy, we fall back. Because it's not worth losing, e or sorry, Angulus. I don't think it's worth losing everything over Angulus. If we lose two consecutive battles, we retreat with whatever's left. Okay. Agreed. Because then they might just be happy for a while with that. And we can settle the Britannia issue. Because we're, right now, I'm more worried about Britannia. Because we have a lot of people to kill. Because not only do we have to kill the Adanians, which we're at yeah. war with. But Britain is at war with us. And they have two large towns that we are going to have to fight. So I just tried to game the system, and they thought of it. What? I was uh, 2,400 gold invested in rebuilding the town at Angulus, right? Mm -hmm. I'm being besieged. I was like, oh, man, I should probably cancel that before I, I lose it. You can't cancel it when you're besieged. Uh. <laughs> you jerks. All right, let's see who wants to attack us. Someone make a move. If the Burgundians hold off just long enough for me to get up there, we'll easily roll them, and then we can hit the Rugians. Like, we'll, we'll vastly outnumber both armies, and it should be a non-event, and I can go home to Hefen, and you can keep Angulus. Unless another 20 stack just pops out of nowhere, which has happened before. <laughs> That's what I'm really worried about right now, yeah. is everything we can't see. Oh, okay, so the West Roman Empire is asking for a defensive alliance. That will never happen. The defense or the um the non-aggression pact is all they get because I'm looking at their their like faction status. No kidding, they have zero defensive allies right now. They have no military allies. They are at war with every faction that I know of. Like the entire world that our Viking factions know, they are all at war with the West Roman Empire. Nice. No defensive alliance for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are not good stewards of your men. We will not give you any of ours. <laughs> Basically. All right, Pix, what are you doing? Uh, can't see what they're doing. Just waiting for them to come out of the mist. 
All right. Nope. Oh, what was that? All right, they're running home to Iblana. That was a weird series of sounds. What was that? They like ran towards you and they were like, ha ha, JK, and turned around and ran off. Uh, so the Burgundians are attacking me. They left Angulus and came after me. Uh, they out they outnumber me right now because I had some attrition. I'm going to fall right. back, which means I'm going to be farther away from you, but they might be able to chase me down. I don't see that I have a better choice. I think winter is next, too, and so you're going to have attrition, too. The only thing that could help me is I have a buttload of cavalry. Ooh. I have 12 stacks of cavalry. What does their spear look like as far as strength? Uh, they're pretty strong. And they have eight spears. Yeah, that's too close. I'm just worried if I retreat and they turn back towards Angulus, I've got to turn back around and run up. And if they chase after me and if they can get to me, well, if they can get to me, it's going to be the same battle anyway. Yeah. All right, I'll retreat. Fall back. And I can retreat pretty far because it's my territory. But so can they. All right, guess we're going to do it. <laughs> All right. Want to make a save? Uh, I can't because I can only save on my turn. Fantastic. <laughs> I think, uh, wait now, yeah, your guys are pretty injured. Mm -hmm. mm. I have a lot of cavalry. That might be the only thing going for me is if we can route them hard. Give me just a, like six of those for my part, and then I will make good use of them. I, and I say, I'll just stick all my skirmishers in the front and wave goodbye to them. We swing all the cavalry around the sides and just murder them. Because like all I'll those like slingers, it. they should break quick. Wouldn't you say? I think so, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you all of these. Six, okay. Two units of three each. And I'm going to move all my horses down there. Ooh, I'm going to run them in columns. The thing is, my skirmishers... Like, they're useless at head-on battles. So, really, all they're going to do is be cannon fodder. Unfortunately. What do you think of this, Jeremiah? For the, the column formations, for making the attacks to the side? So, if they throw stuff at you, it's only the first unit taking the hit. Sure. No, no, you put all your guys on the right. All my guys will be on the left. And do. Just to simplify. And I'll do two three-stack columns. Always raining. All right, you ready? Yeah, this I is, guess. This is going to be an interesting one. All right, I'm immediately moving my guys down to the side. I hear the war horns. Me. I'm walking. Yeah, for me now. too. That's my oh, plan. Wait, they're charging. They're running. Uh, at my cavalry or at my skirmishers? Just in general, a poor decision. I think they're over eager because of the odds. They are eager. General is alive. They are moving fast. Their general's on foot. And he's only medium melee, not uh, heavy, so... I'm thinking we take the Onager and we take the general. A couple devastating cavalry charges and we could really swing the battle pretty fast. I'm going to make a go-ahead dash to the right. Just go for it. Okay, let me speed up. All right, let, let's target, though. What units do we want to hit? They're shifting both spearmen and some hurlers towards me. And they're shifting down towards the hill towards me. They know what's up. Their general's kind of exposed, though. Yep, I'm swinging around. This is what cavalry's good for. They can't catch me. <laughs> They're spinning their lines around. I don't think they know what's going on here. Bring your ground troops up some, Jeremiah, because we're going to get caught in the middle. Like, split apart. I need to get him within melee range. Can you hit their king yet? I'm going to make an attempt, too, I think. All right, well, I could break their skirmishers. All right, they've got... I'm making the move now. 
All their, right. their far left flank went way wide, and so their general is wide open now. I put, sacrificed one of my horses to attack their horses coming at me, and I'm breaking their skirmishers. I'm going to try to break the skirmishers that are right near me. I'm swinging up three guys to help you. I'm going to run right before their spears get there. Yep, I'm going to break and run. That's going to be the word of the day. Yeah, I'm playing cat and mouse with their general right now. No, 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 don't charge the spears. Don't charge the spears. No. I didn't charge the spears. No, I was talking to my guys. Sorry. Getting a general from all sides. <laughs> Getting the cavalry in the rear. I think it's the rear. All right, I'm going to fall all the way up the hill and just work hitting their spears from the back, and let's consolidate a little bit. See if this uh, works out for us. All right, I'm going to try to break these. Um, I got the general under control. Go for the spears if you can. Because we got to kill them quickly or break them quickly. Apparently our horses yeah, love blood. Yeah, they're breaking them. They're breaking them. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, the enemy general's dead. Fantastic. Can you run your guys up, run them away from, make their spears run towards us, and let's try to break these um, slingers near me. You want to just regroup, get these slingers first, and then just regroup? Yeah, I'm saying the slingers back near our line. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got the far left, and then I'm doing some mop-up, and then we should probably have your guys, your main lines, sit and replenish their strength. And then the horses do the same afterwards, after the rundown. Because I know mine are both injured and very tired now. Well, no. I'm going to form up my skirmishers. They're just mildly tired. I'm going to form my skirmishers up for the main battle. Okay. Yeah, these slingers are done for. I think I've now lost. Yeah, those bounty guys aren't coming back. 13 left. Nope. No, they came back. He just said warriors never surrender in, like, in response to me, it felt like. I think you have more cavalry left. I feel like I lost a lot of mine. I think you got hit by the ranged guys as you came in. All right, go ahead and bring your guys back. They're forming back up. All right, that was a, that was a good hit on them. Yeah. This, this battle just got a lot easier. Dude, might we actually... Hold the line is the key now. Make them come to us and then hit them on both sides of the cavalry. I've got one unit going left. I'm just uh, those guys are breaking. Let's see. I want to move all my cavalry just uphill. Because our skirmishers haven't done anything so far. Exactly. So how many how many we have uh seven cavalry left? Okay, not bad. Yeah, I want to let your skirmishers begin the engagement and make them come at us. I don't think we'll... that they're not, they're going to run for the cavalry. They're not coming for... Hmm. Well, they have to, though. I can just keep running away. It's it's like no issue just to keep running. Their Onager hasn't really been hitting us. What are uh, they doing? They're just running around in circles. There's no men on the Onager. Yeah, I don't see that. Oh, oh, I killed it. I killed it. That's right. Okay, so it's just the shell sitting there. When I charged the general, I went right past the Onager. Hey, um, their slingers are breaking out. <laughs> Not for long. I'm going to break one unit off. Two are going for him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the bottom slinger units. Yeah, they reformed downhill. And my guys those... are fresh. <laughs> oh, look at them running. That was a mistake. Those slingers aren't going to make it. <laughs> I'm going into the first person camera for this one. Oh, my game's lagging. Ah. I hope they're running spears up. Shoot. Hit my run, my hit cavalry run. didn't make it down all the way down. They got caught up. All right, all right, I'm following my cavalry back. Yeah, pull back quick. You got like seconds. Yeah, look at that. Horse regroup. Okay, let's pull way back, Jeremiah, and make them hit your ground units because our our horses are doing all the work. Yeah, I agree. And what what and, are your cavalry doing? Swing around the side there. Oh, just getting right about there. All right, yeah. It'll be an uphill charge. I've got enough. I have enough skirmishers that that should really hurt them. 
zoom into their army and look up at the hill. You just see silhouettes of horses on the horizon. <laughs> Alright, it looks like they're actually moving up now. We're actually going to have a fight here. I'm going to swing my cavalry around the back of yours. They're, they're ignoring us now. Let's get way uphill and we'll come all the way around behind them. Start moving your downhill cavalry. Start moving them behind them. Okay. We will pierce their hearts. I'm going to move my general back. Your Vikings are Ready. yelling in anger. Oh, your skirmishers are doing some pretty good work there. Their slingers are dead first. Followed by those skirmishers, those spearmen, and those axemen. I'm making the charge. It's happening. All right, I'm coming in as well. Dude, there's so many horsemen. This is... Yeah. They made a mistake. Enemy forces have struck our gen. The men are losing hope. Oh, our general died. Shoot. That's all right. We're, we're, we're going to take him. Yeah. Help me hit those axemen. It's pretty rough combat right now. Very nice. Boom. The enemy are losing their wow. The Run him down. Run him down. Oh, shoot. I already hit end. Oh. Sorry. But still. <laughs> I saved that replay as horse, yo. <laughs> that That is definitely, that's one of our our better routes there. Look at the numbers. Dang. Yeah, I really didn't think we had a shot there. I'm putting those horses back in the stable. <laughs> I seriously, I think I think that's a viable strategy. 12 stacks of horses. <laughs> well, it's the hunt strategy, you know. Ooh, I'm not able to get a 15% replenishment. Ah, shoot, they're heading south. Oh, look, Duna's getting attacked again. Take it. That's, I don't care. That's definitely north, by the way. Sorry. Yeah. I'm looking at the map backwards. You're a special snowflake. Well, I don't want to, like, I want to be looking at the enemy. But that's where the frame rate drops. All right. I hope they're proud of themselves. They've taken Duna now. No, you still have it. What? <clears throat> just take it. It cost me money. <laughs> <laughs> They've already killed everyone there. It's just like burning buildings and Yeah, why would orphans. I fix it at this point? Western Roman Separatists. Oh, I couldn't. They're, they've taken Duna now. Oh, all right. Whatever. Jeremiah, how could you not pay attention to your rebellion in Duna? Come on. Jeez. Jeez. Dang. All right. All right, I'm definitely going to fall back to Hefen, if okay. that's all right with you. Yeah, I mean, that's your duty right there. Right there, I'm going to hold the line at Angulus, and I have enough money next turn, somehow, to raise a new army. They'll have two back home. Okay. And I'm going to take the Frost Wolves and start cruising back towards Eberacum. Because I do have my rebel army in there, and it's going to take me a couple turns to get back. Don't forget, that is your king, too. I know. And <laughs> I keep forgetting, so I'm going to I have an objective to assassinate Gesalic. Who is Gesalic? Not one of my guys. Whatever. Probably not going to complete that one. Just see how it goes. All right. Um... So in Britannia, I think that's all I can do right now is just run home. Yeah, the picks are really concerning me because they have two full stacks plus a fortified town. But we need to get our armies up to fighting strength before we come out against them. If I can save up yes, money, I'm going to raise yes. my second army from Eberacum because okay. um, they have they can get all the advanced tech and stuff. I'll raise mine back home for Anculus, and I'll keep my navy back home too. I'll, I'll focus a little bit more on our home territories. That's where we messed up last time, so I agree. Yeah, that's probably yeah. a really good plan. Um, for well, shoot, I gotta raise more people for the Serpent Slayers because they lost some guys in that battle. I think I'm gonna get more cavalry. 
No, no, no. Unless you lost some, I wouldn't go too crazy. Like, you need a distraction force that can hold the line while you mop up, you know? Yeah. I'll get spears then, because we had no spears. That would have actually been nice. Yeah, just to make a wall and wait for the cavalry to hit him from behind. All right, I'm still losing a lot of food. Um, can you upgrade your farms at all yet? No, I don't. I don't have livestock herd tech and stuff. That sucks. All right. Um, yeah, I don't see where I'm gonna have any options there. Let me see. What do I need to have researched for that? Am I researching at the moment? I'm eh, I'm not researching what I need. Um, okay. So I'm just planning it out real quick here. I'm just checking how many factions I'm at war with under the known factions. It's not as bad as it was before, but it's still not great. I'm going to see real quick. How do the Romans feel about me now that we've been friends for? Friendly and improving. We'll just let nice. that go for a while. I'm not going to. Again, we got enough issues right now. I'm actually making money now, even though I'm losing food. So Ready for orders. Things, well, that's aren't, exciting. things aren't great, but, you know, we'll deal. Um, okay, I think that's Ready about all orders. I can do. Alright, my governor has completed his term of office, as has this other governor. A worthy bride. A subject is in love. Let's give a blessing. Once again, I am a kind Viking. <laughs> Demolition complete, sacred well. <laughs> <laughs> I convert it to yeah I can convert it to a sacred ground now that seems really unexciting like just survey a spot yep guys this is the sacred spot now the new one <laughs> haven't you heard everyone's in agreement right everyone saw it. this one this one is sacred that is correct Th this is the new sacred spot it's kind of grassy very pleasant mm, okay I'm going to raise an army In Alibu? In Alibu. The war gulls. Hmm. That's... Not the no. best. <laughs> the blood canaries. <laughs> he had upgrades right off the bat. That's interesting. How do I rename the army? Do you know? I'm not Is sure. It... With like the violence pheasants. Oh, the go to force details, not okay. general details. Give me a good name, Jeremiah. Come on now. Um, let's do this. I mean, war. Let's let's come with something to go with war. Gulls is bad. It needs to be one syllable, though. No, no. Here we go. The war wolves. I feel like war wolves is pretty good. Winter is coming. All right. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> After all, I am the far north Vikings. It's winter time right now, and my troops are just loving it. Whereas the Burgundians are... <laughs> They're, like, destroyed and losing men again. I do wish I'd run them down. I feel bad about that now. It would have helped. It would have helped, but still, I, I think we know we know the secret. And I am recruiting a extreme amount of groups and possibly some mercenaries, too. Yeah, mounted warband. That's going to cost me, wait, how much per turn? Okay, so mercenary cavalry is not cheap. This one is 320 per turn. That's... I'll do mounted raiders instead. I can do two of those. You're just preparing for the inevitable violence. 
I'm raising yeah. some spearmen. Do you want me to follow the Burgundians down? Can you move yet if you're recruiting? I don't think no, I'll, I'll be. Uh, it'll take me another turn. Yeah, um, if you would. Well, actually, no, because next turn my recruitment will be complete, and I can start moving. Okay. Well, on the other hand, you are safe. So, yes, yes, if you could do that, that'd be uh, good. Okay, because you still have the Icicles of Blood to hold off the Dragon Slayers farther south there. So well, That's the, a pretty sweet army name, Dragon Slayers. Yeah, that's pretty good. You, uh, should, you should take it when they die. Um, but, you know, we could, we could definitely choke off the Burgundians and kill them. Not that that's going to do much, because they have multiple armies. They just haven't brought anyone else over, which is interesting. That is interesting, yeah. I hope they're weak. I hope. I mean, you, probably... would, you would think if they had a lot to spare, they would have sent it. Yeah. Or it's moving in the shadows right now. I'm hoping that seeing we have factions that we're not at war with, that they will be uh, doing some infighting and not just all focusing on us this time. Pick still not making a move? They're thinking something hard here. I don't know about this. Uh, what are they doing? Oh, look who's back. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that 20 stack was a ground army. They have reinforced their capital, so we're going to have to fight our way up to it. Burgundians are coming south. Back to they, Angulus. And they oh. have another 20 stack. Smart. Mm. Okay. All right, one more turn and I can get to you. I can't move yet. Uh, I, I cannot retreat. I can only sally forth. Sally forth, baby. I think we, uh, their their other army can't reinforce yet. The boar tusks. It, it can. It, it can. can. They're, How? They're both here. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, uh, you. If you just run them down a bit more, they've recruited a few new new troops. I'm too. sorry, it's, man. Uh, I'm gonna lose my army. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll hurt. We'll hurt them. It's it's gonna be bad. And my army is gonna be ready to go, and you're gonna have another army ready to go. We're not gonna lose this area. Let's take them. We will be dying on. The same city. <laughs> we might have towers. If you're sallying forth, are you actually at the city? My options are to sally forth or fight the battle on the battlefield. And if I just fight on the battlefield, it's the town. So Let's do that, because Angulus, Angulus can take it. Yeah. Oh, you don't have as many archers as I'd like. Yeah, this is a very melee heavy, but we can make shield walls. We have lots of swordsmen and let the towers do the work. There better be towers. You have a couple, you have one thing of cavalry. If you want to give them to me, I'll go take the onagers. Ooh, yeah, that'd be good. Because you know their army is going to push aggressively. Oh, our old friend. <laughs> oh, it's cold. This is actually my kind of battle, too. Dang, your guys are way outside of town. Yeah, that's a weird spawn point. Oh, they're coming from the. I don't see towers. Other side. Yeah, it's burned. There's no towers. All right. I'm going to give you. They're going to hit us from two sides. They've got onagers on each side. Would you like a mixed force? Uh, sure. But I'm going to take cavalry and go for the onagers as soon as I can. Okay. So you said that other army is going to be able to reinforce? Yes. I have barricades set up so that they're going to have to at least engage me where I am, if nothing else. That's a little comfort, I guess, but... Ah, oh, man. Let's see what I got here. I'm going to put my cavalry up there so they can start running pretty soon. Warrior Brigade! Scrappers ready! Men of the North! So I guess I'll face off against this one army over here. Um, do you want to just bottleneck back here? How are they for range? Well, they're going got... to hit us. They're going to hit us from two sides, though. They do have a lot of range. You can't yeah. really bottleneck them. And I'm really not sure what to do here. That's my thought was like, maybe I could just use my guys you gave me and just hold that one army 
kind of over my direction from getting to us. I can hold, uh, I'm drawn on the map, that army. Yeah, you can probably take them, actually. I'm going to fortify the hillside. What do you think? Sure. Blingers, I want you right here. See. Um, could you get your, probably just put your archers up in your, on your parapet. I'm not sure how far their range is, though. It shows you. Yeah, I've got them exactly where they should be then. Yeah, okay. that, there we go. That's So they're going to be getting fired on the entire time they're walking up. Yep. And then my slingers will be firing standard shot while the archers fire flaming shot. All right. I'm just lining stuff up now. And the, But this is all before reinforcements get here. This is all before reinforcements get here. That is correct. Think of it this way. They'll probably win, but my army is going to be recuperating. And since I'm in a famine right now, I'm just going to disband units and rehire them to get around the attrition. Right. And then you can build up your army down south and we'll just bring 220 stacks up and clean up anything that's left. Winter is coming. Eventually. Eventually. Yeah, I, I, I think we're okay here. This is going to be a disappointing loss, but we're not desperate right now. And yes, in the future, I will definitely run the enemy down more. <laughs> Are your horse where you want them? Yeah, I mean, there's no... I can't get them far enough away yeah, to yeah. really do anything, so... You should be able to skid around. I'm going to go I ahead think and start. So. Yeah. As long as they don't get, like, seen too quickly. <laughs> My general was giving this inspirational speech, which was interrupted by, Enemy reinforcements have arrived. The enemy has been spotted. Oh, that Onager hit. Oh, they're within range right from the start. Going to loose formation. Yep, loose formation. Alright, I'm just gonna charge my cavalry in. Their guys are too far past them, so I should be able to get rid of mine pretty soon. Everybody, loose formation. Our men flee the field of battle. Well, that was quick. Wow. Lost half a unit of spearmen to the onagers. They must be ranked up because they're hitting. Uh, the as soon as I get these onagers, I'll send the cavalry around back. They'll I'm, be out of ammo by then, but yeah. Okay, I'm hitting their onagers now. And that went fast. They're going. Nice, nice charge. Look at that. All right, and they're attacking my spear, guys. Hit those slingers next, I bet, too. Yeah, if you, want, if you don't want me to worry about their onager, I'll... The onager on yeah. your side, that's what I'll do. Because it'll take you a few minutes to get there anyway. There's just... I wouldn't worry about it. To the barricades. The enemy attacks. Kill! 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 Wow, the pathfinding. Come on. General's, General's down already. Uh, a lot of their guys are splitting off to the side. Just letting you know. Yeah, I see that. Over near me. Not really sure what's up. Oh, yeah. I putting people in loose formation now. in the town makes them path on all over the place like Empire. <laughs> yeah, I see him up there. I'll have my war dogs go in. I'm gonna Watch kinda left, like. I'm gonna make a right angle, yep. We're gonna wipe this army for sure. Yeah, where are the reinforcements? Probably way behind us. Because they are, like, those... The power bar has definitely swung, but I'm not seeing anybody yet. Well, that's good, at least. <laughs> the nobles are getting speared from four different directions. Alright, my cavalry are rested up now. Do their onagers stop hitting you? No, Or they're very tired. They're very tired, sorry. They're not rested up. Run them. Just run them. I'm getting hit still. All right, I'm going to Ducks. clean up. They've got a set of skirmishers sitting there doing nothing. I'm pretty sure cavalry against skirmishers is pretty easy. 
so I'll go ahead and hit them on the way past. Yeah. The enemy general is dead. This week oh. in cavalry are the bestest. <laughs> the general died trying to break through the barricade. Cavalry have not lost a single man so far. Nice. And they are getting rocked by skirmishers. What I like to hear. Ah, I see their army coming now. Oh boy. All right, it's going to take them a while to get here. That's good. They're shaking and exhausted. Their army that's coming in now. All right, their onagers are running out. Like, their onagers are out now. So I'm just going to move the cavalry up. I think I'm going to move all my guys, all my foot soldiers up and just join your battle because. Okay. They're not doing anything. I'm gonna walk my um, my cavalry just for a minute. Then I'm gonna hit those slingers that you're running towards right now. Yeah, I'll keep them running for now. Yeah, their army is very shaken. Why their general died at the barricade, and that's that's gonna Dude, cost. They're their coming whole... up. They're coming up the hill we wrecked people on before. Get your archers. Start moving your archers around now. Get them on the okay. parapet. And I have a barricade up there too, by the way. Yeah. All right. This isn't that hopeless. It's not great. You defeat two armies. That's going to be hilarious. Here, you turn all your guys around. I'll run down the slingers. Turn all your guys around. Get your defense set up, okay? I'm going. I'm going now. I'm starting to run my guys. I, I walked them for a couple minutes, and they're good to go now. Yeah, turn all your guys around. I got it. I'll just send all my foot soldiers. I'll start sending them up over to the, the death wall area that we had last okay. time. Their onagers guys are going to run around to meet up with the other army. <laughs> so you run into Big Brother. A lot of their guys have disappeared into the woods. You need to start running, people, if you haven't. Oh, they're all running. Yeah. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, the cavalry have lost one person. Huh, your dogs are still chasing their, their slingers. And here come the cavalry. Nice. Come on. Oh, wow, the dogs are relentless. Oh, that's horrifying. My human said you must die. I'm glad they can tell uniforms. They're officially broken. You want me to swing the cavalry around and go for their onager guys now? Or do you want me to run them down? Um, I say forget about running them down. We just need a victory for today right now. Yeah, get go ahead and start flanking them from behind is what I would say. <laughs> Dude, we've lost one cavalry unit. Nice. Shoot, I was hoping we could get into that death wall area before things got bad. Because they're if we more could... exhausted than I am, though. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm gonna... tired, but... They're coming for the barricade. I'm going to swing my guys up, and um, I'm going to try to hold them there. Yeah, if you get your um, get your archers into position, this isn't, this isn't hopeless. Yeah, because even their slingers are really close to the wall. Yeah, get your archers up on that wall, and you'll just be able to dump on them the whole time. Or they can just stay safely behind the wall, I guess. Get your skirmishers on the wall, maybe? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do right here is get the skirmishers up. Who my, uh, my guys are... My first set of spears are wavering a little bit. All right. I'm just going to make an awkward line here. Let's just take them right in front of the barricade. All right, their onager guys are going to get back before my cavalry get there. But you'll be in position to hit him in the rear. Maybe the dogs, once the dogs are by themselves, and the uh, I, I don't know. in the back. How do cavalry do against dogs? That's a good question. I, good, I would assume. The men have broken and are fleeing. All right, I, oh, didn't have, I didn't wow. have time to make lines. I'm just going to hit them. My bowmen are just firing right down into the spears, and it's working really well, even with a flaming shot. Oh, my gosh. It's a massacre. The morale's going down. Uh, I'm just gonna run into the back of them and see what happens with those dogs. They have a lot of dogs. I did make one mistake here, and that's that I did not realize I had so many um, I had so many ground units who had marched into the center of the area, and I can't climb the barricade from behind. So they're gonna have to run all the way around again. But they're going now. I'm hitting them from behind. I think I should fall back. Yeah, yeah, don't don't hit him yet. Wait for your moment. Fall back. 
Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I lost a lot of guys. I lost a lot of guys. Yeah, they're, they've got, they've got too many melee. Are they too many missiles? Ah, dang it. That's all right. Those guys, they did their work. Okay. Right, so you're running your guys all the way back around? Yeah. Shoot. I think we're going to lose it, but they're going to lose both these armies' effectiveness, basically. Maybe. Yeah, we're losing guys hard in front of that barricade. My game's lagging. There's the morale. Oh, there. hey, hey, there we go. All right, all right. Dude, look at that strength bar. Form a line, form a line. All right, yep. Because I still have a little bit of melee left, or not melee, uh, range. Here, I'm going to form the line so that the skirmishers will be able to hit them from the side. Okay. Wait, why did my men break after they ran away? They'll be back. That's not a real break. <laughs> Those dogs have to come up the hill. Oh, you're breaking them. You're breaking them, dude. We're getting I, hit by range now, though. Knock on wood, but this might happen. Wow, dude, what you, a massacre. You need to get your guys formed up in the lines. Because no my guys are trying to form up, but... Your guys in front of the barricade or near the barricade aren't doing much. Let's get a line stretched. Yeah, yeah. My archers are now out of ammo. Shoot. Not the second unit, though. Just the first. Okay. Skirmishers gonna, still have stuff, right? Yeah, I'm going to get them back in the corner. Look at the line of men retreating out of the city. That's... Dude, Angelus wow. doesn't mess around. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> City of Heroes. Here comes the charge. Looks like a lot of them are skirmishers, war dogs, spearmen. Is their general retreating? Their general's retreating. He's already gone. All their guys are shaken. Uh, your second set of archers is almost out. Wait, are my... Oh, my axemen are, like, throwing axes. No, the Nordic band, they have, oh, they have small spears. Imagine coming up the hill under all that fire, stuck in that crowd, and then seeing, like, the bodies you have to climb over to get to the enemy. <laughs> ah, their dogs are attacking your slingers, but since the unit isn't there, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, right, skirmishers, run straight at, yeah, run straight at us, that'll work. Oh shoot! Your slingers broke. Okay. Fortunately, they were they were fodder. That's dogs why. suck at barricades. <laughs> Look at them just standing there. Poor guys. My skirmish was on the wall. Notice they have the ammo still. They're throwing off the wall. There's their general. He's Dude, not. Dude, look at the retreat line. I know, right? <laughs> Angulus does it again. <laughs> How do we get into position even? Alright, so oh, you know what you need to hold Angulus? You just need tons of archers. Jeremiah, their general is focusing on the wall. Break right. Swarm the general. <gasps> no. No, we won. Holy crap, dude. We just won. Swarm the general. Swarm him. He's stuck against the wall. Because we can't chase out anybody else, but... Who bad? Who bad? <laughs> Man. Well, Who up bad. until you said that. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, so for Angulus, all you need is a ton of archers and enough spearmen to keep the archers protected. And barricades. And barricades. They are just running. I'm all the way out, like, a mile from the city just looking at... So their army is still very strong. Make uh, no mistake I, about it. I call it <laughs> medium well. But, I mean, like, there's still tons of them left. They will regroup. But that should buy you enough time to buy all the archers. And if you feel the majority that, of these units, though, are already at least half strength, they're gonna break so much more quickly in battle. Yeah, they are. But if you have like five units of archers just sitting up there, just dumping on them, it's gonna be and pretty I, easy. You know, I feel like archers with flaming shot, and then maybe some of the skirmishers to throw like the heavy spears in the midst of all that mm -hmm. close. 
that might be the way to I'm go. Like, I'm, I'm excited to see how many people we killed. <laughs> oh, well, okay. A about fair. But we routed. Wow. That was, oh, man. That, that's only that's only showing one army, though. Not the first army. Oh, okay. Yeah, because are you sure? The second army did reinforce. Yeah. Yeah. The children of the oak are still up and running. I'm going to take on warriors. Replenishment 10%. All right. Wait. Hear my, it's winter time. They lost even more troops now. The Burgundians are running away. Oh, no. The Rugians. How many do they have? Uh, 2,372. They've Versus. been waiting there for like six turns. Versus? 1,190 battered troops. Are we even going to have ammo? I think you will. Well, there's one way to find out. <laughs> oh. Angulus. <laughs> Angulus. Angulus. Every time they get knocked down. Like, we're still pulling bodies, like, off the pile so we can see who's still alive. We should just be piling them up now. They have a lot of slingers. A lot of spears, too. That's pretty balanced, actually. Alright, just want to go for the keep defense? My yep. archers have full ammo. They're all coming from one direction. I have two barricades as well. The enemy has almost totally destroyed Yeah, forget it, dude. We're going 100% in there. I'm giving you a bunch of melee. Okay, well, just barricade the back. What are we going to call it? The death wall? Where the army breaker. I don't know what you want to call it, <laughs> but that one area. How about we just call it wave breaker? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to give you a lot of melee, some skirmishers. Wait. The you... 12 horse and the dogs. Okay. okay. And I'll just... I'll take care of all the archers and stuff. And I'll just do my thing. Uh, I guess... The dogs are fast. The horses are fast. Those will be my gorilla units. Okay. And then spears. You just tell me wh where you want me to hold them, and I'll hold them. Because they've got to come in this thinking... narrow little valley right here, right? That's their only choice. Yeah, I'm thinking... Um, help me make a spear wall. Okay. And... Just let our melee, or I keep calling them, our, my archers melee, our ranged guys just rain death down for as long as possible. Man, all the... Kind of hard to do a spear wall right there, but... That'll do. Now, bringing in closer behind the barricade, I'd say. So the whole time that they're hitting the barricade... My archers are raining arrows down upon them, and Wait, then... Where, where's your barricade? Uh, just to your left. Oh, okay, right okay. There. Do you want me to be actually... Do you want me to be, like, back here? Yeah. Actually, can you help me make two lines? Like, put, put some archers... Let me draw some lines here. Or put two spears here. Okay. And then, like, two right here, right outside the fort. So they're gonna have to, like, go up levels while getting hit the entire time. Oh, okay, so we're gonna make them come all the way up into the fort. Yeah, they're going to hit us with slingers, but I think this is still the best solution. You want some guys on the walls? On the barricade? You know what? That's a good idea. Let me put... Um, oh, let me put... And then... Uh, yes, yeah, these right. skirmishers. All right, now I've got some swordsmen. I'll just put them on the hill as well. If you look from the bottom up, that's pretty imposing. I mean, it's going to hurt them, that's for sure. I'm just worried uh, about their slingers. If we can just do the same strategy as usual, where we just have to... You don't have to defeat them all. You just gotta break them a couple units at a time. You ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna send the horses and the dogs straight for the woods, swing around, and kill whoever I can. Okay. Twelve horsemen. And some puppies. And a very loud war horn, apparently. And I'll just try to break slingers off from the, the sides. I think. My warlord is up to back up to 120 men. They have a lot of 
Germanic warband, which are the the Axemen. That could be concerning if they break through, but they'll pay. I'm gonna fast forward for just a second while they come in here. All right. There's the slingers. I'm gonna start hitting slingers on the side. <laughs> oh, look who's running. <laughs> it's like a whole bunch of them over there. Okay, I'm going slow. I mean, I've got, I don't have enough. The horses are gonna die. Yes, yes, funnel. Their slingers can't shoot up because of the rock face. So they're gonna have to face at least the front of our defenses. All right, they've got spears swinging back towards me. Very good, very good. I'm going to horses. Pull off, I'd say. Yeah, I'm gonna pull them off. I'm pulling them off. I'll make them run after me. Oh, seven horses. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can't pull off as it turns out. Not uh, without view, yeah. I'm just my dogs. I'm just gonna run my dogs into the slingers then. That just wasn't enough to really do anything with it. Yeah, but that's okay. Ooh, your spearmen. You might want to spread them out thin. Um, there we go. There's the first barrage from the archers. They are going to go up and try to come right. around, but I have a barricade there too, so... Not going to do them much good. You want to swing around put some guys on the barricade? I'll move these skirmishers back. If nothing else, they're having to really suffer to take this town. And... I will move my 20 stack ASAP and hopefully if they work like the AI has been working, they won't take the town. They'll just sack it. Watch your right flank down there. All right, I'll go ahead and wall them up. Oh, no, no. Guys over the barricade. Spears over the barricade or axes over the barricade. Oh, man, that volley of arrows from the sky. Ah, our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. All right, I'm moving my guys in. I'm gonna try to hold them down there. Yep, I'm engaging. <gasps> oh, we're getting slingers to the side. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh, <laughs> that is epic. Again, this is just like this is a pitiful defense numbers-wise, but man, it's fun. And there goes some more fire arrows right there. I think it might be time to switch to whistling shot, or do they look like they're not wavering enough? They're not wavering enough. It's just not worth the whistling shot. The fire arrows can at least kill some of them, too. Oh, man. Their, their slingers are ripping us from the side. Yeah, unfortunately. We're going to have to fall back some. That's okay. I'm going to reform lines right back here. My guys will just stay down there just to hold them as long as possible. Unless you want me to fall back. I think you're not going to be able to. If you turn, it's, it's over. Alright. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> that rain. Alright, my guys are all broken. They probably won't be able to get out of there. From here on out, though, their slingers won't be able to do that and shoot into our side. Alright, alright. You're breaking one of their spear units. Archers adjust this way. You got any spears you can put at that entrance there where you got the swordsman? Or Unfortunately may, not. Can you turn the swordsman into a spear wall? I'm out of units, by the way. Not that you need to give I me more. I not. Okay. <laughs> just look at the arrows. It just looks so awesome. Man, this makes me wish you had like six units of archers. Yeah, this is two units of archers and then two of skirmishers. All right, get all your swordsmen in there. Pack, pack that opening. Oh, it's happening. General's going in too. This is because this is another choke point now. Ah! Fall them back. They're get. They're too far out. Shoot! Can your skirm all right, your skirmishers are throwing stuff now. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Come closer. Come closer. <laughs> That's it. Chase me. Into the breach. Ah! Turn around. 
That was pretty sweet. Those slingers, they're chucking stuff up at you, but I don't think it's going to hurt you. Yeah, it's very lightly hitting the walls and a few of my, my bowmen. If you concentrate all your bows right on the guys at your entrance there, you could possibly break them hard. Yeah, I am focusing all my archers now. Their general's coming up, and that'll be the end of things, but they're going to lose, like... 40% of their army beating my battered army. And I'm going to bring all that cavalry up. <laughs> all those slingers that are going to live through this battle. Our men flee the field of battle. I just used war cry on the enemy troops and their morale just took a huge hit. Your archers are still shooting downhill at the slingers. Yeah, they're on the wall, so the ones who can't aim at the people I'm telling them to are just doing their own thing. Take his legs, then. They're in. And that was the break. All right, Let's that, see that how was the a, stats went. That was a good fight. Wow, yeah. Almost killed a thousand of them. And a lot of what they have left is slingers. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Well, there goes about 13,000. That sucks. And they're you, riding home. <laughs> I can't even believe they just did that. They'll Burn pay. It and run. They'll pay. Who was that? <laughs> I'm not even sure. The Rusians. No, no, it was one of their allies. A small ally to the south. Oh, really? I thought it was yeah. the Rusians, because the Burgundians are the ones that still have the Children of the Yoke hanging out. Not for long. Yeah, yeah, it was one of their small allies. Ah. <sighs> All my rage. I'm still currently famined. So yeah, before I take Angulus again, it's going to be with a, a full stack. With archers and cavalry. I'm going to kill that rebel army real quick. Oh, that's not actually not going to be as decisive a victory as I thought. Want to help me fight it? Yeah, let's do it. It's going to be a victory, but it's not going to be. Yeah, but an as good. interesting set of units. I think we're going to do the good old cavalry charge. When in doubt. They've got cavalry too. Ooh, they have crossbowmen. Fancy. All right. Oh, they got to come uphill at us. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> the Onager is going to get a workout. Um. All right. I'm going to give you those guys. Um. Want me to give? I'll give you all the cavalry. Okay. We'll just reverse the script on what we normally do, and you can just uh, you know, all that. I'm going to hide a bunch of my skirmishers in the woods here. <laughs> nice. Although, I think they're probably not going to come to me. I'll probably have to go. Ready for battle. Warrior Brigade. Well, I'm ready. Yeah, it's still probably best to go ahead and kill this army before it grows any bigger. It. I'm going to speed it up for a couple minutes and just see if they start They're coming towards marching. me. Alright, I'm going to speed it up. Just see. They're coming. Not very decisively. Alright, cavalry are coming up through the woods. Right side. I'm going to hang back. Hit him with your onager to get him to come. 
Or is it already happening? It's already happening. Let's turn the fire on. <laughs> Always a good decision. The enemy has been sighted. And I'm gonna turn on the barrage. They have heavy melee. You might want to focus on them. Oh, you already killed 19 of them. Never mind. Watch it hit. Oh, I was looking uphill. Oh. Oh. They're marching into the fire. That's a lot of screaming people. Missile warriors! And we're going to go ahead and do fire arrows on the archers as well. Warrior brigade. And when they get close enough, my... Uh, all my skirmishers are going to hit him from the side. All right, you oh. go ahead and do whatever you want with your cavalry. Um, I think your onager is still focusing on the ranged guys, the crossbowmen. Oh, their cavalry's charging! Their cavalry's charging! I'm gonna let let them. Um, They're go coming. Your skirmishers. Okay. Because I can't take that many horse. Make a line and hit him if you can. I'll hit him from the side. All right, and archers are engaged. And the trees are burning. I'm going to go for the general from behind. Oh, and my skirmishers are they are going to turn the cavalry around in that hill. <laughs> Look at that tree on fire in the center. And now there's fire arrows chasing them. I think the my line. favorite thing in the world is is missile units. <laughs> oh, my cavalry survived. I was actually expecting to lose them. We'll go after the crossbowmen. And their generals will get hit. It was always in our favor. Those spearmen in the front are just going to take it hard. <laughs> Those archers. Uh, crap, I got to break off. I'm going to bring all my skirmishers in from the side. You want me to come down and help you? Do you need help down there? Yeah, I, I'm i going to try to break. I completely forgot about their last cavalry unit that was off by itself. Okay, I broke off. He hit me from behind when I was killing their general. All right, I'm going to bring my skirmishers in from the side. Their crossbowmen are still alive. Falling back. They want me bad. They want me in range of the crossbows. That's what they want. It's, yeah, they're gonna stop me here. Withdraw! Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. You still have monitors? Uh, oh, they're almost out. And they're not they're gonna be out of range. The king's out of range of them now. Okay. Okay, their cavalry is broken. Can you hit those crossbowmen and I will break the cavalry charge off? Uh yes. Enemy units have returned to the battle. You got quite the slug fest going on up here, don't you? Yeah, but I mean we're gonna win it for sure. They're not done yet. Closer than I would like. I'll take care of the crossbow. Hit their king now, if you would. And I will run these guys down. All oh, those fire arrows in the back. That one Oniger still has stuff. Boom. <laughs> Look at that general. He's like, oh crap, which was my face? <clears throat> That's heavy melee. If you um, want to, if you want to wait, I'm almost done up at the top of the hill. I'll be done soon at least, and we can come back down. You guys have axes you can throw. 
I wow. Have, my king has not done anything yet. He's ready to fight. My horses are now like throwing hand axes. Well, right. I know what happens now. Let's, let's <laughs> waste the king. Look, look at the horse. <laughs> Triple anvil. <laughs> All the way. Come on, pathfinding. Let's go. Probably unnecessary, but let's be thorough. Look at all my guys oh, running down oh, the hill. Watch him, watch him. Your, uh, call your skirmishers off. I'm, I just lost a unit of horse. I'll switch him to melee. They're still thrilling. Kill, kill, kill. He's got five men left. They're like on the ground begging for their lives. One of your horsemen just said, after this, we deserve to drown in wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> I think, yeah, once he gets down to the last unit or two, they just can't kill them. Super obnoxious. I'll go ahead fast and Fast forward. No, fast forward. Kill okay. him. <laughs> dancing, Ooh. dancing, dancing. Wow. Not... Creative Assembly's finest moment. Boom. <laughs> Wait. Alright, King's, King's gone then. Yes, huh. It's just other people far away running away. It's all in the battle then. Cool. I'll need to chase all them down. We have won some impressive battles. We fought some impressive battles this evening. <laughs> yeah, this one was your choice. <laughs> I know, but I think we've had like three awesome battles. Yeah. Four awesome battles. Four, yeah. Two at Angulus, as is our custom. <laughs> oh, and looks like you have a 20 stack picked army. Alright. Yeah, my guys are going to be hurting for a little bit. I got to get them back to Eberakum. And you have a 20 stack pick army. But you have a 20 stack army at Ialden. So, and they're almost full strength again, and they're experienced. Like the general is pretty experienced. All right, I think I know a good way to end this episode. The children of the oak have two units left. How about I take the serpent slayers and uh, lay them? Although they're going to be able to retreat probably and get away. Yeah, probably. Who cares? And we actually can't end an episode not on my turn because I have the ability to save. Good point. I mean, would you like to save after all this? All right. Want to fight this one on the field or just let him take it? Um, I'm going to zoom in real close and you just go ahead and hit that, hit that auto resolve button and I'm going to watch the little... Oh, uh, oh I, I, sorry. I thought you meant zoom in close on the battlefield. Well, I'm going to take all the cavalry and we're just going to run them over. That's the plan. <laughs> we call this the lawnmower. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm just going to move all the cavalry up to the front. And when the battle begins, I'm just going to run all the cavalry towards the enemy. That is the entire plan. You good to go? Do it. I'll start walking for now. I want them all fresh. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, they're prepping those onagers. Here they go. Uh, you took some serious losses there. <laughs> blood sport, blood sport. I'm just They're looking at all those cavalry running. <laughs> this is going to be great. They're strangely accurate with those onagers. I'm going to split two units off to the side on each side.
And they are losing people like crazy. That's right, Onagers. You did your duty. Pack it up. They got one hit on one of your units right at the end that, like, took out 20 horses in one hit. It was pretty nuts. Oh, we will not be. We're going to finish this. <laughs> Do it. <clears throat> Come on, put him down. <laughs> the swarm. I really don't understand this aspect of the AI. So basically what happens is there's finishing moves and they're trying to start a finishing move, but because there's so many friendly troops, like it can't lock on. Boom. Finishing move. That's right. You have further orders? Yeah, maybe I'll take Angulus. I'm kidding. My blood has watered, it's burned earth. That's weird.